Just on the Cook Strait Ferry, I've been chatting to John Salong, uh, community leader on, um, on Ambram. He's in the village of Ranvetlam. They can see the glow from the lava, which has just re-emerged on Benbow this afternoon. And the um, geohazards camera shows a, a very powerful glow up on top of the hill um, after smoke started coming out of Benbow this afternoon. Uh, there is now smoke coming out of Marum as well. This is just incredible. Um, you know, this is just going to be a huge boost for tourism for Vanuatu, and I'm just itching to get back there. I mean, this is just going from mere existence with all this COVID nightmare to, you know, I feel like I've got lava flowing through my veins. It's just, woo! This is Marum, and these are the unforgettable images of the famed lava lakes of Ambram in Vanuatu. I've been exploring this place since 1997. Along with all those who've assisted me over the years, we've taken dozens of successful descents to the bottom of Marum and Benbow. Until this happened. New crater. New crater. Just two hours ago. One and a half hours ago. Look, it's amazing what a, what a flush lava up the sky just for uh, around about 40 meters high. In late December this fissure eruption opened up on the side of Marum. After the eruption was over everything seemed fine up there but something happened in the next month, next weeks to month. Uh, we don't have any timeline on it because no one was up there and no one witnessed it. There appeared to have been a number of earthquakes, including a very big one. And whether the magma chamber was empty, we don't know. But um, for some reason, the whole of Marum and Benbow caved in. This is what Benbow's lava lakes looked like before they were buried by thousands of tons of rock. This is what it used to look like flying into Benbow in the helicopter. This is what it looks like now. It's like an atomic bomb has dropped on the place. <laughs> 